everyone. Welcome to the weekly update here at Fishy Business. You'll see that I'm standing in one of the coolest parts of Fishy Business, the rock room. We always wanted to have one because we wanted a space where you could come and actually design the aquarium before you had the aquarium or after, depending on the situation. We have rock of every different type and we have people here who can help you create something truly magical in your tank. The weekdays are great for this. If you have some time, you definitely want to swing by and check it out. Right behind Cat is the Driftwood Room, where we're actually going to set up a tank so that you can actually do the decorating in an actual tank. Uh, but enough about that. Just make sure you check it out when you come in. Let's get on to the update. Hey, it's Kevin. I'm going to give you the rundown on some of the best looking things we got in this week. We got quite a bit to offer in the way of fresh water this week. Let's get to it. If you're looking for a good scavenger for your outdoor pond, we got in some of the Japanese trapdoor snails. These will actually overwinter in your pond here in South Carolina, and they will do a good job keeping the algae off of your pond liners and excess algae off of your plants. If you're looking for one of the most awesome nano fish you can get, these are gold phase white cloud mountain minnows they do fantastic in a wide range of temperatures they can even endure lower temperatures with no problem they can be kept without a heater they can be kept at 78 degrees or so as well they're excellent starter fish for a small tank we have in a beautiful selection of female koi betas we've got a nice little sorority of them going on in there if you want to do a female beta sorority, we do recommend that you use at least five betas in your equation to disperse the aggression. These are some really beautiful fish here. These are brilliant ruminos. They're a slightly different color phase from your regular ruminos tetra. They've got a bright sparkling iridescence to them. Fantastic looking fish. Just for the heck of it. We also have some really nice looking regular Romy Nose Tetras as well. see something like this. Follow me. <sighs> Sorry, Chase. I had to do it. with your saltwater portion of the weekly update. This week I am joined by my child, this mini auto scrooper, who is a big baby, who also wants to eat my finger. Um, I have a lot of cool fish in this week. I got a lot of bigger fish in this week too. I got some new ones. Um, he's one of them. He's been here a while. He's very personal. You should take him home if you can. Obviously if you don't, if you can't, don't take him home, but if you can, you should, because he's awesome. So this week I got some more bigger fish. This is a orange shoulder tang. And as you can see, he has those beautiful colorations, the half darker, the half lighter, the, actual, the orange shoulder with purple, the blue tips, a gorgeous, gorgeous fish, really hardy and 
great addition to any bigger tank. Another bigger fish I got in this past weekend is this Dr. Tang. Um, it is a trade-in, so somebody grew him up to this size and he is big and beautiful and he has a lot of personality and they're very, very hardy fish. He actually came with another bigger Dr. Tang as well. Um, I don't recommend putting in the same tangs in a tank normally, but it worked out for them because they grew up together, but I still don't recommend it. But this guy is doing wonderful. So another would be bigger fish is this Picasso Trigger. Um, this is another trade-in that I got in a week ago and he is so gorgeous with all those blues and yellows. Um, as any trigger fish, they can eat any of your shrimp, snails, stuff like that, and can have a good bit of attitude. So choose tank mates wisely. So this beautiful gal right here is a gold stripe maroon clown. Um, I do sell these as babies in the store, and you know, you see them with the white on the stripes, and you can see this one actually has the gold coming in. Um, it's not fully in yet, but you can see that little bit of a yellowish tinge there. So she is going to be coloring up beautifully in the next year or so. Okay, so, fun in the rock room. This is just one of the things we can do in about five or 10 minutes. So if you have about 30 or 45 minutes, we can play. Come check out the rock room, come check out the driftwood room, come check out the tanks and the things we can help you with here at Fishy Business. There's a lot of years experience with the people that are here and the weekday is a great day to come by and play. Even if you hadn't thought about doing a different design with your tank, anyway. God bless. Have a great week. Come see us this weekend. We'll see you soon.